हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कोड करो यारो इंडिया फर्स्ट ऑनलाइन स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस माय नेम इज पॉल गुटका एंड आई एम कोडिंग इंस्ट्रक्टर एट कोड करो यारो एंड टुडे वी आर मीटिंग फॉर अवर वेरी सिक्स ट्यूटोरियल एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न समथिंग एक्साइटिंग टुडे सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फ्रॉम द मॉड्यूल क्रिएटिंग एनिमेटेड स्टोरीज राइट so we are going to start with our tutorial so first thing you have to do is go to google chrome i am going to share my screen and this is google chrome i have to search here for scratch okay once you search for scratch you have to click on very first link scratch image in program share okay so once you are in the link you have to click on the create option okay create at the top okay so once you click on create your project will start creating and here is the project okay now we are going to learn instruction create clone of myself now what is this instruction and what does it do that we are going to learn in today's tutorial all right so create clone of myself means this is a sprite suppose and if we want to create clone of this sprite so what is a clone clone is basically the duplicate okay another sprite which is duplicate of this sprite okay so if we want to create duplicates of the sprite we always use the instruction create clone of myself okay so let's see today how does it work so right now i have the cat with me okay cat is a default sprite in scratch as all of you know okay so we are going to paint a new sprite today so we have learned how to paint sprites in our previous tutorial okay so you have to go to choose a sprite and you have to click on the third option paint right so once you click on paint uh here the painting uh, screen opens up and here you can paint your own sprite so right now i am going to paint a smiley okay i want to paint a smiley so i'll choose this circle okay i am going to choose this circle i am going to put the color to yellow okay i am going to choose the color to yellow uh the outline i'm going to put it to zero because right now i don't want any outline so i'm going to put it to zero and here i'm going to create a circle like this and then i'm going to create the eyes of my smiley so uh we are going to go here uh again in the circle and i'm going to choose black color for the eyes and here i'm going to create two eyes okay okay so this is the eyes of my smiley now i want to create the nose for my smiley so i'm going to again create a nose and then i will create a smile okay so i will choose the color red for that and i'm going to create a smile like this but i want to make it in more shape so i'll click on this option the arrow and i'll make it like a smile okay so this is my smiley here and i also have a cat okay now i'm going to go to choose a sprite and let me just uh select some sprite okay which we are going to clone we are going to make a clone of that sprite today we are going to learn how to use the instruction create clone of myself okay so okay let me scroll down let me check which a uh, sprite do i want okay so there are so many sprites uh, you can choose any sprite from here okay let's select the uh, heart code it okay 
let me select this heart okay so now i have three sprites with me a cat a smiley and coded heart now i want to put a backdrop so instead of choosing the backdrop today i'm going to make my own backdrop how are we going to do that we are going to go to choose a backdrop option and the third option is paint okay so you have to click on paint and this is the backdrop i have got here so right now i'm going to create my own backdrop okay so i want to create code karo yaro backdrop so let's see how it looks first of all i'm going to choose this square shape and i'm going to put the entire entire thing with the red color okay and then i'm going to use this text option and i'm going to change the color uh, let me make it blue and here i'm going to choose the font okay let me make this font and i'm going to write here code karo yaro code karo yaro okay code karo yaro is the first school of computer science and it is a great platform for all of you to learn coding right so yeah this is my backdrop these are my sprites now i'm going to learn how you can make a clone of these sprites okay so the very first instruction you have to do is always go to events okay uh, so here we always do this thing right whenever we start a project we always go to events and we put when green flag is clicked right but today we are going to do something new okay we are not going to use this instruction today when green flag is clicked okay today we are not going to use that instruction but what instruction are we going to use today so we are going to go here in the third instruction when this sprite is clicked so what does this mean when this sprite is clicked when this sprite is clicked means whenever any particular sprite is clicked right now we are coding for this smiley right so when this sprite click means when the smiley is clicked then only the particular action will be performed okay so when this sprite is clicked means when this smiley is clicked okay that does not mean when this green flag is clicked okay in the our previous projects we learned that whenever this green flag is clicked then only the particular action will take place but in this project we are going to learn that when this sprite is clicked then the perform uh, then the performance will happen okay then the actions will take place so when this sprite is clicked i want the next instruction to be uh, forever okay i want to put forever because whatever instructions i put inside forever it will keep on repeating okay so forever all right and then inside the forever we are going to use this instruction create clone of myself okay so let me go to the control and it's the last instruction create clone of myself okay so create clone of myself okay so now uh we have created the clone of this smiley clone means duplicate if you want to create a duplicate of the sprite okay then you have to use the instruction create clone of myself that means creating the duplicate of myself okay now when i start as a clone okay that means when the cloning will happen okay when the clone will be created so there is this instruction from the control when i start as a clone you have to show that clone okay i want that it should show the clones it should show the duplicates okay so i'll go to the looks okay and here first i'll put forever because i want to forever make it show okay so forever and then i'm going to go to the looks and then i will put show instruction here 
okay show now let's see how it works i'll click on this and it has to create clone see how it's creating the clone yes there are so many clones of this smiley right see all of these are the clones how we created this clone because of the instruction create clone of myself see there are so many duplicates of the same sprite right so this is how we use the instruction create clone of myself okay now if you want to delete the clone then you can do one thing here you can put when green flag is clicked okay when green flag is clicked you have to put forever block okay and in the forever block you can delete that clone so we are going to go down here and we are going to use this instruction delete this clone i don't want the clone anymore okay so see whenever i click on the green flag it gets deleted yes did you notice it whenever i click on the green flag it gets deleted okay so this is how we are going to create clone of the sprite there are so many duplicates we can create okay infinite number of duplicates of the same sprite it looks interesting yeah okay so this was all about the instruction create clone of myself okay we can also add some more things here we can go to the logs and we can make it say hello also okay so let's see so everyone will say hello okay all the sprites will say hello we can make it say hello hello i am the duplicate sprite okay we can make it say like this i am the duplicate sprite so this is how it will work whatever clone we make okay it will uh, say hello i am the duplicate sprite then we can also do this thing we can change the color effect of that sprite as well okay so as you see whatever sprite i am touching it is changing the color effect also there are so many sprites right and when i click on the green flag everything will be gone isn't this so interesting look i have created so many duplicates of the same sprite okay so this was all about create clone of myself this is how you can create clone of the sprite okay now we'll do the same thing with the cat let's see how it looks okay so first of all what we have to do we have to go to this uh, events and instead of when green flag is clicked what is the instruction we are going to use we are going to use when this sprite is clicked okay that means whenever the cat is clicked okay whenever the sprite is clicked then only i want the further actions to be performed right so right now what we are going to do when this sprite is clicked okay so when this sprite is clicked what i want i want forever block because whatever code i will put inside the forever okay whatever code i will put inside the forever it will repeat okay it will repeat itself on loop okay so that's why i am putting forever now after forever i have to go to control again and i'm going to scroll down so here i have the instruction create clone of myself so we already learned about that instruction right it will create the duplicate of the same sprite so we are going to go here and create clone of myself 
so uh, right now i am going to show the clone also i want everyone to see the duplicates right so i am going to uh, whatever did in the smiley when i start as a clone here also we are going to do the same thing so i am going to get this instruction when i start as a clone that means when this cat will start creating its duplicate okay when it will start creating its clone so then what you have to do again you have to put the forever block okay after putting the forever what do you want you want the duplicates to be seen it should show on our output screen right on our stage okay so here i am going to use this instruction i am going to go to the looks for that okay and i am going to use the show instruction here okay so whenever i create the clone of cat it has to be seen okay so let's see yes now there are so many cats from one cat it is creating so many clones right see here there are so many clones of a single cat you can always fill the entire screen right okay so this is how you are going to create the clones now after creating the clones you want it to uh, delete the clone okay so what we will do so when green flag is click or you can also use this when space key is pressed so what is a space key space key on your keyboard on your keyboard the longest key you see is the space key right so whenever i will click on that space key it will delete my duplicates okay it will delete the duplicates of the sprite so i'll go to the control after putting when space key is pressed i'll go and put the forever block and i will scroll down and i will delete the clone okay delete this clone that means whatever clones i have made till now i want to delete it okay so let's see i am i pressed the space key and all the codes got deleted all the clones got deleted okay again if i make the clone of this sprite i am again going to click on that space key okay now suppose i click on this space key right now all my duplicates will be deleted okay so in case of cat when we want to delete all the duplicates we will have to press the space key because here we are using the instruction when space key is pressed okay and for smiley if we want to delete the duplicate then what instruction do we use we use green flag okay so whenever we will uh, use the green flag okay so it will delete all my duplicates of this smiley so here i have made all the duplicates now i'll click on this green flag and all my duplicates will be deleted okay yes okay so this was all about creating clone now we will go to the cat we'll do some more instructions here we will make it say something so we'll go to the looks and i wanted to say i am duplicate i am a duplicate cat okay so i am a duplicate cat so it will say i am not the original one i am the duplicate guess who is the original we can make it in a fun way right guess who is the who is the original sprite so 
we can make the user guess what can be the original sprite because there are so many duplicates right so this instruction we can use and we can also uh, go down and we can also use this instruction next costume okay after maybe waiting one seconds we can make it to the next costume that means it will change the costume when we are creating the clone okay let's see see it is changing the costume also yes for for smiley also we can make it change the costume okay uh, okay let's design that costume again we'll go to the costumes and then there is another circle down here at the bottom that says choose a costume but we are going to go to the paint option because we are going to paint that costume okay so we are going to make this smiley cry because it is creating so many duplicates of itself and the smiley is not liking it so we are going to go to the paint okay so again we are going to create a smiley a sad smiley okay now we are going to uh, change the color we are going to create the eyes so we are going to make it black color okay and now i want to make tears so i think i'll paint it okay i'll make the color blue and i'm going to you know create the tears from the eyes of this smiley because this smiley is not liking that it is creating so many clone of itself now i'm going to uh, make it sad so okay now it is sad and it is crying it looks like that right first it was happy now it is sad so what happens it will be like this see first it is happy when it will start creating the clone it will be sad again okay so let's see how we will do that so here after change color effect by we can put the instruction wait 1 seconds or maybe wait uh, 0.5 seconds okay and then we will put next costume that means it will change the costume okay let's see see first it was happy now it's sad yeah it looks so cool right so this is how we are going to create clone of the sprites and uh, whenever i click on this green flag all the sprites will get deleted and whatever the last costume is it will be that okay and if you want to again switch costume to one you can use this instruction switch costume to and then you can put costume one that means it will switch to costume one again okay okay now okay now we have also done it for cat right for cat we can also do one thing we can use the instruction uh, change color effect by so it will also change the color yes we are creating the clones of the cat See, there are so many clones of this cat now. Okay, so now we are going to create a clone of this heart here. Okay, we have this heart coded. Okay, so we are going to go to this heart, and now you already know the instructions. So let's repeat those instructions again, so that it will fix in your mind, right? So again, we will go to events, and we will use this instruction. when this sprite is clicked right 
because i want when this sprite the heart okay when that sprite is clicked then only it should uh, it should uh, you know clone itself okay it should create duplicates of itself so what i'll do i'll put here uh, when this sprite is clicked okay uh, when this sprite is clicked and the next step is to put the forever right so where do we get forever we get it from control right control and we'll put forever now the main instruction for our project today is create clone of myself so we are going to go down here and we have this instruction create clone of myself so i'm going to get this instruction from here and i'm going to put it here create clone of myself right now when it starts creating the clone of itself i want it to show so what we will do when i start as a clone okay we also use this instruction so i hope i hope now you know what is the use of this instruction when i start as a clone what do i want i want it to show the sprite but inside the forever so we will put this forever okay we will put the instruction forever and then uh, here we will make it show we are going to go to the looks and in the looks there is an instruction show so you have to make it show so let's see yeah from one heart we are getting so many hearts code it code it code it let's code it yeah right see there are so many hearts now yes so from one heart we can get so many hearts it is creating the duplicates right but how we can get with the help of create clone of myself so when uh, i press something it should all get deleted okay so i'll go to the events and uh, maybe uh, again i can put when space key is pressed okay so whenever the space key is pressed i want this entire duplicates to be deleted okay so when this uh, when space key is pressed i'm going to go to the control and i'm going to put forever okay i'm going to use this instruction forever and inside forever uh, i'm going to uh, again go to the control and there is this last instruction delete the clone that means all these duplicates okay it will get deleted so what i'm going to use here delete this clone so let's see i'm pressing the space key yes it all got deleted right we can create clones of each and every we can create clones of each and every sprite i am the duplicate cat guess who is the original can you guess who is the original you can play this game with your friends yeah there are so many duplicates of the same sprite okay so this is how uh, our code works okay so today we learned how to create duplicates of original sprite right so it this is how it works so in many of the games it requires to create the duplicate sprite there we can use this instruction create clone of myself uh, whenever we are making a snake game there is a snake who has to eat the food and once it eats the food the length of the snake increases there we have to use this instruction create clone of myself okay so whenever we will create the clone of the snake it lengths it its length will get increases okay so this is how we can use this instruction in the game uh, that we are going to create in our further tutorial okay so i hope you enjoyed today's class and now we are going to meet in our next tutorial so stay tuned and thank you for watching this tutorial
Bye everyone.